Hey, it's Matt with Rublet here. Today we're talking about workflows. And workflows are an underrated feature, albeit an advanced one, that allow you to do everything from configure how your run button works to build multi-step orchestrated jobs, basically, within Replit. Uh, and so I'm going to break down for you how workflows work, and hopefully they'll help you build some cool stuff or enhance a workflow or do something you didn't know existed, because I definitely didn't know some of this stuff existed. So jumping right into it, the first thing I want to mention is that Agent, anytime you uh, build an app with Agent, you might notice Agent like runs the app for you and stuff like that. It's actually configuring workflows to run your application. So you really don't have to worry about that. Just want to get that out of the way. Second, um, we're going to start with a simple example, and then we're going to build up from there. So in front of me, I have hello.py. It's a very basic uh, fast API Python app. And if I click run, I get my app to run. This is like the replit you all know and have used, uh, you know, from back in the day before we had AI, right? Um, and what I've done is I have the run button assigned to this uh, python hello.py. So we're just running this app when I click the run button, right? Um, now, let's, let's get a little bit more complicated. What you might have noticed in that workflow is that there are sequential or parallel workflows. So in front of me, I have a workflow here that's going to say python main pi cd front end and node server js. So on main.py, we have another server. This one generates a random message. Obviously, uh, cd front end, front end folder, we have server.js. This is a, an express server, and it's going to serve this app and this index file. So let's see what happens when we run this workflow, which is dev servers. So what you might notice is that we got two, we actually got two preview panes. Um, so in one preview pane, we have a backend. That's our um, main.py. In the other, we have our express server. And now the cool thing is that when I click get new message, it's <laughs> getting a message. We can look at the console, and we're actually going to have uh, both of these running. This is getting that message from our backend, and we can see our front end server running. So just like that, what we did was we set up a front end and a back end, and then we link those two together in the same environment that we're then communicating with. So this is really cool and really exciting to me because it means that on Replit, you can create these uh, multi-service applications where you have a front end and a back end talking to each other. Um, it also means you could do things like, you know, have a job that fetches data um, and, or have a job that, you know, uh, serves a front end and connect those things together within Replit. Um, now, the one other thing that I want to call about, because there's more, I feel like Billy Mays, but wait, there's more, is that when you define a new workflow, um, you can have one of the tasks be a workflow. So now we have a workflowception, right? So this thing could be our dev server. So the, the command I just ran before, this workflow is now a step in our new workflow. And we could add on another task to do something else. Maybe we want to like run a test and then execute our dev server. So we could have like, you know, what's a, maybe a test isn't the right thing to do, but maybe it's like fetch data. So we have like a data fetching job. And then after that data fetching job, we would execute our dev servers. So just like that, you can start to stack these really uh, powerful tasks or commands inside of your application and then execute them with a workflow. Um, again, the way I think about this is you could have like a data fetching job or you could have uh, tests that you want to run when you click a button, assign those to the run button, and you're good to go, right? So we're not going to add that one. But workflows, again, um, straightforward, but can be surprisingly powerful uh, way to configure not only the run button, but chains of commands inside your application. You can run workflows flows in parallel or sequentially. You can have workflows that are composed of other workflows, which really unlock a whole bunch of uh, possibilities. Um, and yeah, you can do everything from configure the run button to build a full front end, back end application that communicates uh, with each other. But again, I'm Matt with Replit. This has been Workflows in the Workspace Editor. Until next time, peace.